Hey guys, welcome back to Techno How. I'm Techno How. This is the ZTE Blade Z Max, and this is my re review of the ZTE Blade Z Max. I've been using it for uh, about three or four weeks now, and I think I can give you a little bit better review than I initially did, and that's my goal to give you the best review I can. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that I like about the device, some of the things that I don't like so much about it, and give you a more informed um review that's that's my obligation to you so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it okay so it's got the snapdragon 435 chipset uh the adreno 505 gpu comes with that and that chipset together it, per it performs okay but performance if you watched my uh, ZTE Blade ZMAX versus the Huawei Honor 6X review, you'll see that the 6X, which cost $149.99 unlocked, $199 unlocked, uh, the 6X just smoked it in like almost every fashion that you could think of. Opening up apps quicker, uh, RAM management is so much better, things of that nature. But the display is probably my favorite thing about this device. You can see it's just a beautiful display like everything I put this wallpaper on here because it just it just pops it pops so well it's like a almost like a super AMOLED display even though it is LCD display um, I've got the Google Now launcher on here uh, because I think it runs a little bit better with the Google Now launcher and like I said before the performance overall is okay some of the things that I don't like about the performance of this device are if you using your messenger application and you're typing in a message every once in a while it will place like the message you send on top of the message you're responding to and it won't fix that until you close out the messenger and then reopen the messenger which can be irritating after so long um, another big gripe that i had about the device after using it for a while was the facebook messenger which i eventually just uninstalled because i got tired of messing with it i'd get messages on facebook tap the little chat head to respond to it start typing get almost all the way done with typing and like nine times out of ten it would erase that whole entire message and then i'd have to reopen facebook messenger the message would be gone i'd have to retype it all and sometimes it would close out again so it, i don't know if that's specific to just this device or if that happens on a lot of devices but i know it happens on this device way too much for my liking um, something else that i like about and dislike is Cool camera setup I really like about it in good lighting situations. Um, in, in, in low light situations it falls apart really really quickly. I will take some good looking shots. I'll go ahead and pull these two phones out here and we'll grab a shot of them with the camera and then I'll post that for you during the review so that you can see that it will take in great lighting situations some really nice looking shots. Alright, got that picture go ahead and get that out of the way and I'll post that up right now so while you're looking at that let me keep talking uh, so another thing that I found out that I don't like about this device is the loudspeaker here on the bottom it's not loud at all it's very very quiet even with the Dolby Digital um, app it's really 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 quiet and it's very easily naturally covered when you're gaming which this device does well gaming but you do cover that up a lot. That's naturally where my fingers rest and I found out that I just kind of really don't like that about it. The RAM management is kind of terrible on it and I found out that underneath the uh, storage here, it didn't really catch my eye to begin with, but 9.94 gigabytes of storage is being used before you install any of your applications and then after you install a few of them like I've got a couple games and Facebook and Instagram YouTube and YouTube creator things like that installed I'm using 17.66 gigabytes of 32 gigabytes um, with just a few applications installed and of course now we have the neighbor's dog barking but so gaming performance on this is okay as long as like if you're doing asphalt 8 or something you keep the graphics on uh, medium or low you're not going to have too many dropped frames and things are going to go pretty smooth you notice that little stutter when i swipe over if you haven't done that for quite a while now it'll be fine but if you go on and do something else and then you swipe over to your google now if you're using that launcher 
it's going to stutter a little bit. There is lag and hiccups here or there that I didn't notice at first, but after a couple weeks of using it, it does start to lag. So there's something for you guys to be aware of. The front facing eight megapixel camera takes some nice looking selfies in great light, but it has to be great light in the beauty mode. Um, it totally, totally like makes you look like just completely fake. So I would suggest probably leaving that off or putting it on a really low setting. Call quality on the device is not the best in the world. Um, I noticed that you do get, like I don't have a SIM card in here right now because I'm no longer with Metro PCS. And I got this device for free, so I can't really complain about it. Um, I got it for free by porting over. But call quality on it just wasn't up to par. This speaker up here, your head, your earpiece here, it's really kind of quiet. And even if you put it on speakerphone, it's still, it comes out of this speaker here, so it's, it's quiet as well. And so I don't like that about it. That's one of my bigger gripes. It wasn't, I, I found people saying excuse me or, or or what did you say or you know they couldn't really hear me all that well and I really couldn't hear them all that well especially if I was driving and I had my kids with me and they were kind of talking in the back which makes it hard to hear anyway it's extremely difficult on this device so you know that being said I didn't like that aspect of it and then I found over time that it being so big one-handed use was just it, nearly impossible which for me being a daily driver, I need a phone that I can use one-handed. Like if I'm, if I'm at work or if I'm doing something where I can't necessarily, I can't use two hands if I'm cooking and I need to respond to a text message or something. It's it's good to have a phone that you can use with one hand or two hands. And there are other alternatives. Just one to for um, point of reference here, the LG Stylo 3, which is from Cricut. This one is is nearly an inch if not an inch uh shorter than the zt blade z max and it's thinner like width wise it's thinner and it's thinner um as a whole and it's much more easy to use in one hand and you get the stylus with it which is really neat and we're going to do a full review on this device this is my daughter's she wanted the rose gold which um, in case you're thinking about picking up this device, guys, rose gold is pink. So, you know, let me get that out of the way. And then, you know, performance on this device. Like I said, overall, for, you know, if you if you can score it for free or something like that, it's great. But if you're going to pay $199, then I would highly suggest going with something like the Honor 6X or the Honor 7X, which is $199, the Honor 7X. And it's brand new and it's got the new chipset and everything and the Kirin 655 on the Honor 6X just destroyed the uh, in my in my comparison video just destroyed the Blade Z Max and then I also noticed that the camera on the Honor 6X destroyed the camera on the ZT Blade Z Max when I did those reviews as well so all in all if you're getting this phone for maybe a child or if you're the type of person that doesn't do a whole lot of different things at one time like Facebook, YouTube, and you're gaming and you're uh, responding to emails and stuff like that, it'll be a good device. It'll handle one or two applications running at the same time really well. My overall impressions are, guys, this would be a great device. Uh, the display is beautiful. The cameras are decent. Um, the, the speaker quality is terrible. And... You know, there are some little glitches and hiccups here with this device that make me not want to use it as my daily driver. Like, I can't I can't use it as my daily driver. Um, I will use it at home as, like, a tablet for gaming and, you know, watching media and stuff like that because it is a big, beautiful 6-inch display. The fingerprint sensor is still good on it. It's not the fastest in the world, but it is extremely accurate still after a couple weeks of using it. But just the lag that I've noticed after using it for a couple weeks and things of that nature make me uh, not recommend it as highly as I would have in my initial full review that I did. And so that's why I wanted to go ahead and make this re-review for you guys. I know I went through it really fast and I kind of didn't cover everything that goes into a review. But these were the major points, and I wish that dog would stop barking, that I wanted to cover and let you know some of the things that I found out that were... Uh, not so great about the device 
you know, as a whole. All right, so that about wraps it up for me with the ZTE Blade Z Max re-review. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the section below. Hit the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't done so already as I always upload new content and that way you can be the first one to be notified when I do upload new content. I've got the Motorola Moto Z review, full review coming. I've got, I'm going to review the LG Stylo 3. I'm going to revisit the Honor 6X the same way that I just did with the ZTE Blade Z Max. And I've got the um, LG G5 Plus review coming really, really soon. I'm going to do first impressions on that sometime either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, and I am currently still using the Motorola Moto Z as my daily driver so that I can give you a better initial review. Um, so, like I said guys, it's Tech Know How. As always, have a great day, and I'm out.